So, hello, hello, hello. This is Max, and welcome back to a Let's Play series of Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um, currently in the sector of the Caimanes, and we're going to start our missions. Um, yeah, I have cleared most of the area, but now it's it's all about kind of missioning, so that's good. And we're going to start with the first one, which is kind of trying to get rid of a submarine. Oh. And the submarine is putting in here. Now the question is how do I do it? Um we try to see four. Frag out, get some. Target destroyed. Don't get slack with that security. That was it. Um yeah. As I said, I hope you like it. Uh, if you so you know what to do, just let me know what to do. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna keep Coventry to the minimum and. Let's do this. So, where are we? The cartel has a flotilla of submarines they're using to smuggle coke into Florida. Find the subs and sink them. Pause, and I'm going to position myself for that. So we arrive at the second sub. Apparently so not clear. That's a kill. And approaching the zone of. That's it, we're clear. Somebody tell Fitzcarral that we found his boat. It's nuts. Something this big this far up river. That's what your mama said. That doesn't even make sense. In position, target's marked. Just say the word. Ready to engage. Engage targets. Target eliminated. Shit, they're headed this way. What should we do? Ready? Open fire. We'll go. Drone is up. Got the target. Get the cover. Clear. Fire, fire, fire. Good. We all in one piece? We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up these supplies later.
Oh, super frag. Frag out. Come in here to Culeros. Let's clear the fuck out of here. Two out of six. What's next? Uh, oh. The cartel has a flotilla of submarines they're using to smuggle coke into Florida. Yeah. We've got a location on a warehouse where El Cerebro does most of his high-end design work. Sweep the building, grab any useful okay. intel you can carry, and torch the rest. One eight kilometers. Moving on. Careful. So now we are infiltrating. Santa Blanca must know this, because every man who knows that he was created to stand at God's side will have that divine strength beside him. He will reign over every man who grovels at God's feet. God has created you to live an adventure with him. Show your devotion and be the man that God created you to be. Then take your place with him, with me, with Santa Blanca. Amada Santa Muerte, bendícenos. This is El Cardenal with an important message for Bolivia. Beware of the lies spread by Pacatari and his rebels. These promises of equality and transparency or free education and free health care they are to help you. That can only be achieved through tyranny. People can only be equal when equality is forced upon them. Bakatari would take the fruit of your labor, take the largest portion for himself, and to divide what is left between you and your neighbor. Tengan cuidado. You would not reap what you have sown. You would be left with barely anything. I got anything. eyes on the Jenny. The best way, the only mortal and Christian way to bring success and prosperity to the individual citizen and the nation. He's through a free I got economy. one narco over by the turret. Contrary He's spotted to the one with submachine guns. Pacatari and his kind, I got a target carrying submachine guns. Charity, generosity, and kindness. When our basic needs are met, it is undoubtedly easier for us to care for our fellow man. We will give to our neighbor in need the food from our plate when our bellies are full. No escuchen falsas promesas. Move on. Do not listen to Bakatari's false promises. I've got the target. Given the chance, he will rob you what little you have in the name of equality. May Santa Muerte bless you all. Que así sea. Copy. Target lost. Eyes on the target. Head over there. Hermanos Bolivianos, as you sit comfortably in your homes, Target as mark. you go about your day of working, taking care of your families, you might be wondering why you need us fight against the rebel madness matters to you. You think they're not affecting my life, they're only attacking these foreigners mm. working in our country. But that couldn't mm. be further from the truth. This fight with the rebels is nothing less than a battle for the very freedom of Bolivia. The government's supported foreign investment has done much to improve the lives of the average Bolivian. And more than that, it has given the enterprising Bolivian the opportunity to make a real go of it, to create a business that can provide for his or her family. We Bolivians are a peaceful people. We believe in living in harmony with our land and with each other. But we Eyes want the harmony of a free society, not the order of slavery. I am El General Bar, leader of Unidad, and I promise you that we will never stop fighting to keep Bolivia free. Okay. 
Yo, Sicario with a submachine gun. Near the container. Now. Just spotted one with submachine guns. We got a mounted weapon. Over there, go. I've got the target. Got the target. Copy. Target marked. Hua. Say the word, boss. Ready to engage. Shit, they're headed this way. What should we do? Weapons free, weapons free. Enemy down. down. Fucking hell! Madonna. For me, 
My mother was the first person to call me Mandona. Then it was the other niños at school. As I got older, it was boyfriends, co-workers, and let's be honest, my mother has never stopped calling me Mandona. People say it's because they expect a the woman to be less Brag out. And sweet. Get some. O sea, there are even some women out there, successful women, who want to ban the actual word bossy. But people who are satisfied being pleasant, who don't act bossy, even if they don't like the word, they don't get what they fucking want. They don't make millions of dollars about shipping products all over the world. They don't have to send them for hundreds of sicarios to buy for them. So chicas, be mandonas, be bossy. If you're una cuivida and you're not una cabrona, you will never be the fucking boss. Weapons case over here. This will go nice with my boots. Sorry, he's got the launch dates for those drug subs. You want to hear the stunning results of all our intelligence work? Squat. Nothing. Nothing. My cartel contact in Florida tells me that the submersibles arrive with no problems except for a couple of dehydrated crewmen. Either that fat fuck the station chief sat on the info or the goddamn Brazilians let the boats through. You know, would it hurt for somebody in our government to remember that loyalty is a two-way street? I mean, fuck am I taking these risks for? And to top it off, I helped smuggle 200 fuck- What do you make of that? Who gives a fuck? Let's blow it up. Who, uh, demo calc says P for plenty. Stay down. have gunned down Madre Coca and her entourage outside her home in Tabacal. Damn, I know I kind of kidded around. Demo's primed and in place. But shit! If she's dead, they must have used fucking silver bullets. Madre Coca is survived by no one because no one loved La Vieja Cabrona. Let's gather some info, Ricky Tick. See if we can't grab something. Tells us what El Cerebro was working on. We've got the intel we need on El Cerebro's research. We took out his prototype. Project's Fubard for sure. What else? 
The cartel has a flotilla of submarines they're using to smuggle coke into Florida. Find the subs and sink them. be some intel around here. This place is amazing. Thinking, yeah? Think so. We'll take a tour after we take down Santa Blanca, though. Stay sharp. Sniper, top of the tower. Target marked. And baby makes three. Targets confirmed. Ready to assault. Got the target. Say the word, boss. Go down. Acércate a ver. Gracias por esto, hermano. Ahora toca continuar juntos la lucha. There's a Sicario over here. There, on the bridge. Hostile down. I'm opening fire on these shit out of the cage.
No targets present. I got C4 primed. Clear. All subs destroyed. Objective complete. No way Cerebro's gonna get that coke to Florida's with a fucking rowboat. Chopper's approaching. Alright, so... One... And two missions... There's an armored boat docked outside Santa Blanca's base at Caimenez. It's loaded with high-tech electronics for El Cerebro's research. That's where we are. So, I hope you like it. If you do so, you know what to do. Just let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter, so see you in the next video, so cheers for now, bye-bye.